Okay. So today I'm doing an all lock chest run IST uh, setup commentary. <clears throat> um, I have started a fresh file here. I closed the program all the way, which clears out any um, broken inventory slots that you might have. And so I'm starting over fresh. You need to do that if you mess up and you need to start over. Uh, that's the safe way to do it. If you haven't really done anything inventory slot transfer wise, you could just reload. But the safest way is to start over. And we wanna kind of stay safe here because we don't want to remake our bingo file. Okay, I'm gonna be grabbing a bow. I'm gonna be getting three weapons and I'm gonna be getting a shield and one type of arrow. And I'm gonna be trying to do that kind of all right away. Um, so now I have one weapon, which is one-handed, which is kind of what I want in my first slot, uh, a little bit preferentially for doing one of the setups later. Here, I'm going to hope this guy doesn't get in my way to wind bomb. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. That was awesome. And that was even better. I'm just gonna try again, I guess. Good, died, nice. And that's fine, really, like because I don't have any IST stuff set up, I can just continue. I don't know where it'll take me, probably all the way back up to the bow. Yeah, all right, so it's essentially like starting over. Um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna do a totally different route and we'll see how this goes. So this is my favorite bingo start route. This is what I call the honey camp route. So I'm gonna grab a bow. I'm gonna get three weapons, two of which are gonna be Boku clubs, Boku clubs, and I'm gonna grab the the pot lid and ax from the old man's hut. So this is not in any way the fastest way to do this. Um, Sean, who is kind of the creator in my mind of this run, has a much faster method. Uh, which I would suggest watching. Sean Chadster on YouTube, All Lock Chess. He does, he's awesome. Um, so I'm going to grab... This is my first material. I'm going to grab this as my single material. And I'm going to grab these um, arrows. I'm gonna kill this guy, because I feel like that's a good safe move. Although I did not mean to run out of stamina. Um, I am not gonna pick up any other kind of arrow. That's really important. You can only have one arrow, whatever you, I'm gonna eventually pick up an ancient arrow. And if I had another arrow, so um, if I had two kinds, like if I had a fire arrow and a bomb arrow or regular arrow and bomb arrows in my slot, that would be really bad for me. Um, so maybe I don't want two clubs. I want a torch in a club. It doesn't matter. So I just want two of these. I cannot, do not under any circumstance, get this chest. Don't get any armor. That's very important. Uh, what? Okay. Um, and I'm using durability on the first two weapons in my inventory. That's fine. So now I have uh, two, I have three materials two of which have three durability. Um, I don't want two shields, and I just realized that I have two shields. That's bad, don't want two shields. Um, okay, come back. So now, in order to not be running around too much and get any auto saves that I don't want, I'm going to wind bomb, or I'm sorry, BLSS, not wind bomb off of the plateau and I'm gonna go to the location where I'm gonna pick up a ferry. That's what's next. 
Um, you don't need to, what am I doing here? I gotta kind of pay attention, I'm sorry. Um, you don't wanna land anywhere here and get a extra auto save because we're gonna be using the number of auto saves that we get to give us the DLC package load or save, I should really say, when it starts telling you about all the different quests and everything at a very specific spot so that we can um, have a save and reload that's an auto save so we don't lose our bingo file. Okay, there's gonna be a ferry here. If you don't get this ferry, you have to start over. That ferry is critical. If you, if you lose the ferry at any point before you do the um, inventory slot transfer, you can't do the run, basically. I mean, you don't have to quit, but you won't have enough fairies. We're gonna be able to get 999 fairies. So because I already have um, stamina, stamina shrooms, I don't need, let's see, you know, he would get mushrooms and that and that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just double down on the Endura shrooms. So that'll be my extra material. I'm not gonna get the hardy radishes. So that's gonna be a change from his route. Um, again, just mostly to prove that it doesn't really matter what material you get, as long as you get a material. I am gonna pick up these apples. And I'm gonna grab these. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what I want my route to look like. If you look at Sean's, you'll notice he only has five things because he uses the fairy as his backup material, but I'm gonna use the Courser Bee Honey. So, <clears throat> because the Courser Bee Honey won't fly away, and I like that. Like, if you're doing the inventory slot transfer and selling to Beetle, and you screw it up, and he, um, and you miss the ferry, you'll have to start over. So I really wanna reduce this down to three. So now I have three material, or I sorry, I have four materials that have three. That's what I want, because I'm gonna break eight slots by doing four twice. Oh wait, I want, I don't want a auto save here. My goal here is, as you see, Beetle was not in there. So I'm gonna pass time by the fire. It's gonna be morning. The purpose of not, is not the auto save count, but rather, which you do get a save, but rather to make beetle appear. Okay, so the tricky part's coming up. <clears throat> One of the tricky parts. So here, this is something most people know how to do already. You smuggle a weapon, and so you're going to toss that. I'm going to drop one of each of these material, and then I'm going to hold. So while I'm smuggling a weapon, I'm going to hold all of these. You notice that the Courser Bee Honey goes down to zero. So you see he's hold, Link is holding it. I'm going to equip my shield. I'm gonna be holding the targeting button and I'm gonna switch weapons, which puts the shield in the front. So I'm gonna jump and un, un hold. Oh, that was too fast, dang it. Uh, I have to try again. So I'm still smuggling the weapon. So all I have to do is hold again, but you have to be more in the air when you, so I need to move his, so he has it equipped, but I need to move it to the front right there by switching weapons, jump. And then as he's putting it behind his back right there, this is a good spot to remove it. And now he's still smuggling the items on there. You wanna get as close to Beetle as you really can. And then you want to press, this is in my opinion the hardest part. So there I just got real close and I did whistle and then A, so the down, arrow on the left side and A. And I did those, your goal is to do them one frame after the other. So they can't be exactly the same time. They can't be too slow. Um, and hopefully this worked. So let's find out. So we can call him Beetle and we're gonna say, well, look at what I got. That felt good and it was good. So here I can see that I have zero Corsair Bee Honeys, which is kind of a weird number to have, right? I have zero, but that means that I'm still holding those. I'm still smuggling one so it still serves an inventory. So now as I sell these, it's gonna be breaking these slots. Okay, so I'm just selling them. 
I don't, I'm not trying to get the money. I'm trying to, uh, with the fact that I have smuggled everything, I'm confusing the game about its inventory and how much inventory I have. Okay, so now I'm done. So if I had been smuggling, what Sean does is he smuggles the fairy, and so then it bites it out. But then here, when he stops selling to Beetle, the fairy tries to fly away, which he's really good at grabbing and is fine, and I usually can get too. But I find that there's a little more risk. So here I'm going to come back. I'm going to re-up my inventory. So now I have two of all of these again. One fairy. I'm going to put the fairy at the end just because I uh, like doing that. There are plenty of times, though, where you cannot resort your inventory. So be a little bit careful about that. Um, in fact, maybe that'd be a good thing for me to stop doing. I do want to smuggle my weapon again. And then this. And then I'm holding. And uh, move my shield around to the front. Jump. And he's putting his shield away. So here I'm targeting, I'm getting really close. Oh, and I whistled, and I didn't, the inputs were wrong. So I'm still smuggling, so now all I have to do is hold again, but I don't want to hold that. I don't want to use it. Uh, as long as Beetle doesn't make it outside, it's not too hard to get in front of him and target him. Like, oh, I made him turn around because I got too close. What's happening? Beetle? Come on, Beetle. You're killing me, Beetle. Right, so here I have zero, so I'm good. So I can sell all these. Now in a second, I'm gonna pick material back up, but I'm gonna try really hard to only pick up three material. And all, when, I, when they all drop on the ground, you want the fairy plus three material. It's very important. You can't have four. It screws up the pattern. Um, and now, so here it all drops whenever you're done. Smug talking to him, the, the game says, oh, you were smuggling those. You're not allowed to do that. And I'm going to try to grab the ones with the lowest heart. Um, it doesn't really matter. Like, I could grab the Endurish Room, and it would be fine. But the Staminella Room is nice because... Um, when I eat stuff, it just makes it so there's less eating that I have to do to regain hearts because you're eventually going to have to eat everything. Um, and now I'm going to BLSS. And there's one really important thing I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to BLSS over to the castle, but I want to land just inside the castle guard walls, ideally. I don't want to land before I get there. If I land before I get there and I get an autosave, this is where an autosave will really hurt me. Um, if I autosave now, my save count will get screwed up. I am really not going where I want to go. I don't know what I did wrong in this BLSS. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is you're aiming for a gap, a gap in the wall. So here I'm going to go for this gap and I want to be right, ooh, um, I want to be right inside. I want to get up on this wall pretty quickly because then I won't have issues with an autosave. If I land on the outside, what I found is I land on the outside and then I get an autosave that screws up my count and then it doesn't work. And unfortunately, again, I'm not super great at this, so I won't actually know if it's going to work until it works. So I'm going to do my best to describe what I do, but it's sort of like I know one phrase donde esta el baño like where is the bathroom which is a useful phrase but i don't actually know how to speak spanish really so okay so you need to equip your shield and your third weapon so this third weapon is going to transfer durability so here i'm just going to open this that's going to give me an auto save and the arrows i need so now i have arrows i get this auto save and in the meantime while it's saving i'm going to drop my bow I'm gonna drop, uh, normally drop this, drop all of these, eat, eat all of these, and just make sure it's all cleared out. 
and then you're going to walk over here and I'm going to pick up the bow and the axe and don't pick up your shield. Don't pick up your shield. And then basically while standing right here, I'm going to unequip that. And if your arrow, if your uh, bow is to the left of your weapons, which it shouldn't be, that's really good actually. And that kind of proves that it's working. And now what you cannot do is you cannot come out of this menu. You have to go directly to here to load. And you're gonna load that save that just happened. <clears throat> so this is where it either all comes together or it doesn't. <clears throat> either everything's aligned and I did it right or I didn't. Now I'm gonna sort of walk it's gonna, this is good. I'm seeing these uh, bows and weapon things, that's really good. So here, I'm gonna walk over here, and it's gonna give me a save. And you see it's giving me the side quests for that DLC. So I should, and you see I've got kind of weird things going on. I'm just gonna skip over to load again, and I have the second Hyrule field load. That's what I'm gonna load. And this is looking good. Hopefully this worked. Uh, if this works, I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm just going to kind of show some of my thoughts. So uh, we have the durability of 47 of this axe has been transferred to 4,700 ancient arrows. Um, the uh, durability of the shield has been transferred to 999 fairies. And if all went well, I can eat this meal and it shows a one, which means that I believe it's the durability of the shield. Uh, maybe it's the durability of the bow went to the fairies and the durability of the shield went to the meals. So now the meals have a count. So I, I don't actually have infinite number of uh, Endura meals, although it feel, I call it that, infinite Endura meals. Um, it's really uh, 300 or something like that. Or I guess I have the better shield so it's actually a thousand so i have a thousand uh meals uh which is plenty for this run for sure and now i can kind of do whatever um you so here <clears throat> i think john has the right move here for sure you're going to bless over to this first camp um, you can pick up the bow that they have there uh, by, you're already equipped with a regular arrow, which is kind of nice. And so you can just use that to kill this Boko instead of a ancient arrow, grab his bow, very convenient. Uh, it is nice to, oh, but I don't have any regular arrows. Um, I don't want his bow, I don't care. This is the arrows I have the most of. So. Now I'm going to eat some Endura food. I'm actually gonna eat this one to get it out of the way. And then boom, boom, boom. So, um, I have a theory that if you could get a good enough window, we weaponed, there are certain camps where it would still be good to grab like, uh, so your IST is done by the way. It's still active to a degree, but um, it's not, you can grab stuff, you can change your inventory because you don't care, you kind of don't care how it gets messed up. So what Sean does here and what is, it's really nice to have a spear, I think, because the beauty of a spear is there's gonna be a lot of places where there are keys that you don't have to kill to be counted as part of the, um, the camp. You don't have to kill them in order for the chest to unlock, but they are there and they're in your way, which is annoying. And so a spear, in my opinion, is the best weapon. If you're going to, I don't actually want to be. So this is not a bad position for him, but this like bullet time bounce, unless you've practiced it, just kind of stinks. Um, try to move him. I didn't get him quite close. Oh, that was way too close. So this is the problem with bullet time bounces with, you have to move the guy. And now by the time I get up here, he'll probably be unfrozen. Now remember you have infinite uh, stamina. So unlike when you're doing a, a regular, so I don't know which direction I'm going here. Okay, that was basically terrible. So um, 
if you want, so I have, I had, did set this up so you could, I, you know, I grabbed this chest, which gave me an autosave. So I could go back there and I could try again to do that. Um, I think if you're a little more casual and you're just trying to do this for fun, uh, this all chests, what I would suggest now that you have all these awesome weapons and everything else is I would suggest that you um, do this. So this is my backup strat for a more casual play. Um, <clears throat> Which you can use or not, as you feel, see fit. If you just wanted the all lock chest um, inventory slot transfer mechanic that we use for this with the bingo file, um, that part is really done. So <clears throat> good luck with that run. It's a super fun one. I would highly recommend it. Um, you know, grab an extra shield. You don't need that. I don't really need the bomb arrows. Like it was kind of silly to grab those. I just was trying to prove that other things do work. Um, and so you have some choices, basically. So there are a couple of um, camps over here. And I'm just going to go right for this one here. I'm going to get myself another bow. Uh... So I don't care about his bow. Oh, uh, but I guess I got it anyway, if I want it. All right, so he did drop it. Um, so if you want this bow, because I froze him, you can grab it. Uh, here would be a good time for me to get some regular arrows, which is what I meant to shoot him with. But I'm so used to having the same like menuing pattern that I forgot I didn't have any. And then here's what I was talking about. I'm going to go grab this bow here. That also gives you an auto save right here if you should want to go back. Um, and I'm actually going to switch to that bow immediately. This route gives you a lot of these bows almost immediately. Um, here you are going to try to wind bomb up. And because you have infinite Endura, you could. You can do all of the mid air wind bombs that you ever wanted. Assuming I can hit this one midair. Uh, that was not high enough. I'm actually going to stop because this is not a bad place to wind bomb from. And here, you know, I only have one heart, and so normally you wouldn't wind bomb, but because I have 999. Um, of uh, these up. Oh, that's actually a phone call I gotta take. Anyway, I would go up to the tower. That would be my recommendation. But I gotta run. You guys take care.